Well, that didn't go to plan. So for those of you that don't know, I'm trying to win my first professional event and this today was my second competition on the PGA Lancashire series at Hurston Hall. So the previous competition was at Bolton Golf Club. It didn't quite go to plan, had a slightly sloppy finish, but as a first competition after open qualifying, I was pretty pleased with how it went. Now there were a few areas that I wanted to improve on from that competition, one being my short game, I feel like I let myself down chipping around the greens because tee to green I was pretty good, but then when I had a uh, chip to contend with, didn't quite go to plan and I've actually been practicing off camera leading up to Hurlston Hall to try and get that shot, which is what the aim of this series is aimed to do. Get me actually, get my game to a level where I can go out and win my first competition. And I'm quite happy with how it's got me feeling and how it's got me motivated to improve my game. Now the competition is at Hurlston Hall, which is out in Ormskirk Way, just about 15 minutes as the crow flies from the likes of Birkdale, Hillside, Southport and Ainsdale. So a real good piece of golfing land. Weather forecast not looking good, very rainy, but I've headed to the course early and one of the things that I'm trying to do when I'm going to these events is give myself the best opportunity by preparing for them, whether that being getting to the range, hitting balls beforehand, before we tee off, stretching, having a putt, going for a practice round, which unfortunately I didn't get to do and I've never played the golf course before. I did, however, manage to watch some videos on YouTube and see the course, how it would play. I also went on the ShotScope app and had a look on the My Strategy to sort of plot out what I would do going off the tee leading into this event because timings and how schedules work and what the course had going on, I just couldn't fit in a practice round. But had a stretch on the range beforehand, I had a putt out on the green and I had some balls on the range and overall feeling pretty confident going to the first tee. So let's head there now and get this comp started. Right, come on, nine iron. Keep turning for me. Travel, please travel. Yeah, it's on that last little stump. Right, 120, 123 out of the rough. Don't want to catch a flyer. 123, come in at 50, go one. 30. the fringe but you can get it rolling on this soggy unpredictable turf.
Run, run, run. Escape from the rain. So we've played three holes there and just a little bit about the golf course. It plays 6,700 yards from the back tees. We're playing one set forwards off the whites today. Obviously you could see it was very, very wet there. The rain is really coming down. And because of that, we were playing preferred lies throughout the golf course, just not in bunkers. Now, walking on to the first tee, quite happy with how it went. I knew that I couldn't go left because of the couple of bunkers that were down there and going over the bunker on the right wasn't the worst shot. So executed that to plan and did well. Um, nice par down the first. I felt nowhere near as nervous as I did as at Bolton and as I did at Fulford in open qualifying. So already just a couple of events in, I'm starting to settle in and get an understanding of being in the competition environment, which is really good. Um, par down the first, like I say, second hole just slipped my hand off the um, off the tee shot and just pulled up just a little bit short and leave myself a chip. And because it was preferred lies, I was able to get an okay lie, but a little bit muddy and a little bit wet. So I was just a little bit nervy over the chip, having to go over the corner of the bunker and just didn't quite catch it and just caught it a tiny, tiny bit thin. And it just had a little, little bit of a run out, maybe, you know, six or seven feet more than I wanted. But a bogey there and then going to the third hole, hit a good tee shot down there and then just didn't quite get the wedge going in and a comfortable two put to leave me at, um, a nice par there. Now, going into the fourth hole, this is where the rain is really going to start coming down at this point. So I was saying to myself, actually, you need to sort of, uh, the, the big priority was managing my gloves. I had six gloves in my bag and I've already gone through one as we've gone through three holes. I do have the Mac wet gloves, but I don't want to pull them out because they just feel alien. It literally feels like you're playing in boxing gloves to me. It feels like I've got no feel on them. So I'm trying to withstand that, but let's get back to the golf course and see how we do. That's all right. Yeah, yeah, sorry, bounced a couple of times. A bit pulley, boy. Oh, no, it's bad in my hand. <sighs> right, that's that glove done. That's annoying because that's a good drive. And Spin, 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 spin. Don't do it. Go on, why have you not broke? Sit. Thought that was going to swing. Short of it and kick right. That proper slipped off the face. <laughs> so we've played a couple more holes, and as you can see now, we are walking off the golf course. Not the news that we wanted, but news that I thought was going to come. We saw at Bolton, if you haven't watched that video, go and check that one out. 
<laughs> I've brought bad weather with me and one of the lads actually joked with us when we got in the clubhouse that I was banned from playing the events because the two events that I've played in, there's been two suspensions of play and actually coming off four and five, four, I hit a shot into a bunker because my hand was slipping. I should have got the Mac wets on a little bit earlier, but duff this shot into the bunker. Didn't quite hit the bunker shot that I wanted, goes um, fizzing over the over the green. I hit a good chip and then held a nice putt to make a bogey. And then on the next one, lovely drive down the middle on five, hit a good wedge. I had 137 into the flag and I've hit it all the way over the back, hit it sort of 157 over the back of the green with a wedge, but then a good chip. Um, the previous shot on four as well, when I had to chip back onto the green was a, a tricky little one. It was a tight. Um, tight shot, not a lot of uh, landing area, and I managed to commit and hit a really good chip there. So walking off the course at this point, I'm quite happy with how it's gone. I know it's absolutely smashing it down. I've not lost my cool sort of thinking, well, why are we out here? It's raining. And I'm quite happy with how my mentality is. So we had an hour's delay um, to see if the course could dry out. And unfortunately, that is it for golf. We aren't going back out onto the golf course. We waited an hour and a half pretty much to get the, um, the, the sad news that the, the comp was suspended. Now, unfortunately, that leaves us in a strange place because I'm really getting excited for playing in competitions again. If you would have asked me about this six months ago, I probably would have said, no, won't play in any comps. Maybe do open qualifying here and there, but I'm not that bothered about competition. But actually having something to aim for now in this first win i'm actually quite excited and i'm on an improvement journey and i'm like you people who are at home watching wanting to play the best golf wanting to get the best out of my game and looking at ways of how do i improve analyzing what i've done after rounds and sort of becoming as i described to one of my friends um, the other day when we were down at wentworth I'm really turning into a golf pervert again. I'm wanting to get the most out of my game. I'm interested in gear. I'm looking at what's going on on tour. I'm looking at what comps I can play in. And I'm really, really excited about how this series, series is progressing. But unfortunately, as we actually go through the schedule now, that's the last comp. It's pretty much nearly October. There's a pro-am out in Turkey. There's one in Dubai, which obviously just isn't realistic for me to go out and play in those. I would love to, but there's nothing going on in terms of the PGA. Now, there is a comp in Ireland on Monday, the 30th of September. So I'm actually going to inquire as to if I can go over and play on that one. It might be a case of us fly over in the morning because it's only to Dublin, flights are cheap, I can get over there nice and easy. It's a golf course that I've wanted to play at Royal Dublin, but at the minute, I'm sort of lost because I'm really excited about where this is going, but it feels like we've hit a brick wall and it was a sad ending today. Shame, obviously, it's nothing to do with the organisation or the golf course, it's just that we live in the north of England and it constantly rains, it's felt like, for the last year. So. We're at a point now where I've got to try and figure out what I'm going to do up until March, April time, because there's not many comps. There is the Manchester District Golf Alliance that we do play around here, but it's very much winter golf. Am I that excited for that? No. But is it something that I maybe have to suck up and just say, right, well, at least it's getting me my competitive fill in terms of playing under the gun, actually getting used to marking a card again and going through that process. Is that something that I just do through the wind to just take the events for what they are, knowing that we'll probably get rained off on some of them. They're not gonna be in the best condition, but it is a chance for me to get out and compete. Or do we look at trying to play maybe abroad here and there? We are fortunate that we're going out to Dubai. We are going out to America. We are going out to Portugal, hopefully. So do I try and find little comps that I can play in here or there? Or is it even that I just play in competitions at Warrington throughout the week on a Thursday or something and try and find something that can give me some competitive juices? And I'd love to know what you think I should do by leaving us a comment down below, because like I say, and hopefully you can hear it in my voice, I'm quite excited for where this is going. I think the tour tier series that we've had Peter and Graham on so far, people have really enjoyed those. We've got some others lined up. 
Hopefully we can keep those going. Maybe we look into more competition, uh, more lessons, sorry. Uh, there is someone that I want to go and see for short game that we're just in the middle of a back and forth on email at the moment. Hopefully we can get that booked in. Do we go through more of that process? But at the minute, I really just, I, I wanna keep competing. I'm just sorry that we didn't do this in April and try and actually have a full go at it. But what it does allow me to do is really know that I'm committed to it for next year and get planning to see what we can do in the PGA region from April through to September, that six month window, and have a really good go at me trying to get my first win. Um, big thanks to Simon who runs the, the PGA Lancashire. He's been a big help um, in organizing the, the events and allowing us to film in those. So thank you to him. Thank you to you guys watching at home. Leave us a comment, like I say, on what you think we should do. And I'm, uh, I'm excited. We need to keep going and I wanna, I wanna improve and I wanna win. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.